The Andy Walking on Water Tour. Written by Brian Swint. All in fun to help us get through this time. That's what comedy is for. Sorry if you take offense. The idea is Andy Kaufman touring across colleges in COVID America. To keep the crowd enticed even though they never feel comfortable, they are unable to stop watching. Dark shock, humid satire. Strap in and take a shit until your legs go numb and always remember before you get up, push out a little more for good luck. Okay so let me get my watercolors and Bob Ross this canvas for you. Students know it's a comedy show but also on the bill is a mystery expert life coach with inside knowledge of the coronavirus. Plastered all over the posters and pamphlets, Andy is praised for his dedication to the cause for changing his last name Kaufman to spread COVID-19 awareness. Everyone is in the auditorium and seated and the lights go out. Mike Buffer appears from behind the curtain and screams, let's get ready for COVID. You can hear faint coughing coming out of the speakers for five minutes. The curtains drop. The entire stage was built into a church. There is a wardrobe that seems out of place in the center. There are giant bigger than life Batman statues everywhere. The Christian Bale on set meltdown audio starts to play. There are lit candles everywhere in the church and multiple mini bat signals are shining on the ceiling. Andy is calling on his inner Bruce Wayne, using the his biggest fear, the corona bat and turning into a strength. Church organs begin to play as 30 professional choir singers come out and start to sing, Christ was born, Christ had died, and Christ will come again. Andy front and center enters the wardrobe and comes out of the back, wearing only cotton underwear. A handful of people get up and walk out. The lights dim and the spotlight turns and focuses to a wooden manger under a 15-foot Batman statue. Andy also is wearing a little girl's Thanos gauntlet mitten on his left hand. The 30-piece choir is still singing as Andy climbs into the manger. The faint coughs are still slightly playing but now are mixed in with a louder, Christian's bail, yelling. It gets very quiet until sleigh bells start to ring. The choir singers start singing, Santa's coming to town. Then from the rafters Santa starts to slowly descend down to the stage. He appeared to be intoxicated because he shared a very dark North Pole secret while looking down on the children. Explaining the Rudolf origin story. He said that he would drink eggnog and vodka and wrestle the local reindeer in the barn on weekends. One of those nights things got out of control and he accidentally shot half of a reindeer's face off. Explaining that witnessing all the blood coming from where the nose used to be, was a sign that guided him to get his life together. To stop being so rude to others while getting off. He called it his bloody red light bulb of repentance. As Santa is making his way, a spotlight shines on a mother and son decorating a Christmas tree together. As the son puts on an ornament he looks out the window and yells. Mom, look it's Santa. My purpose in life. The reason I'm a good human. I can't imagine anything worse in life than not getting all the presents you ask for. Why aren't there more people like Santa Mommy? He's so jolly all the time, so giving, and teaches us great moral values. At least they gave him a day in December for us to thank him for all his sacrifices. I feel bad for anyone else who's born on Santa Day. Santa lands on stage and sings along with the choir as they sing, Frosty the Snowman. Then out of nowhere six newly unemployed Chinese food cooks emerge from the crowd and begin walking towards Santa. They form a straight line in front of him. Santa puts a little milk on their forehead and places a sugar cookie in their palm. The six Chinese men now walk up to baby Andy in his manger. Each of them has a different colored fortune cookie in their hand. Inside each cookie is a name of one of the six wealthiest people on the planet. One by one they place their colored fortunes on the gauntlet hand of baby Andy. As Andy receives each one, he seems to be getting more powerful. When the last fortune is placed he screams in pleasure from all the felt power, as he now has become a god. The lights go out again suddenly. The choir begins to sing notes of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, in a very slow and dark way. 
two drummer boys come on stage and begin to play war drums. The choir and drums sing so perfectly together, creating a haunting soundtrack of the Earth's nightmares. The lights slowly illuminate and Andy appears from the dark. He has a purple scrotum painted on his chin, this along with the child Thanos gauntlet mitten completed his transformation. He starts to talk deeper to sound as one with Thanos, he begins to explain to the audience that the population problems that China has been enduring. Quoting the Mad Titan word for word while snapping his child mitten gauntlet thumb after every sentence. Explaining a great sacrifice needed to be made to maintain the balance. An unnecessary evil. Explaining how the virus was man-made for this purpose. The two most powerful nations on the brink of disaster united as a people. One virus to solve both issues simultaneously. Affecting approximately 450,000 people. The virus has been genetically modified to only target older genomes with weaker immune systems. China's population problem was going to collapse their economy on a level they couldn't recover from. I'm here today to tell you what the president doesn't want to tell you, from fear of a revolution. It's so much worse than a population crisis. It's our Wi-Fi. Within the next few months the number of people connecting was growing at a rate our grid couldn't handle. Apple is designing smart watches for babies that sync up with the parents' smart devices. Temperature, vitals and a new, baby still in car alarm feature, with optional insurance. It dispatches police if the child's temperature continues to rise or fall. We couldn't handle the growth. Ladies and gentlemen we were about to lose the internet for over 12 months. A few girls cry out in panic from the crowd. I understand ladies. No internet that long. Why live? But fear not I solved the issue for us. The lights go dark and the choir starts to sing the Freddy Krueger theme. 1. 2. Covid's coming for you. 3. 4. Decided it's better than a war. Thanos explains if you're retired from work, you're now retired from life. People that put plastic over furniture blocking its comfort, should have plastic around their face blocking oxygen. Old people can't even use electronics without their grandchildren. Think about all that precious wasted Wi-Fi. Titan Andy, speaks to the audience. Florida belongs to all of us now. The spring break state. The crowd erupts onto their feet. Andy out of nowhere begins to rip his makeup off and he throws the gauntlet mitten. He gets real quiet and apologizes for breaking character and tells everyone he ruined the rest of the show. But he can't fuck around anymore about this. He falls to his knees and begins to cry. The crowd gives him a standing ovation. Andy explains how bad things are getting. Just last week as I was Netflixing before the chill, I was trying to set the mood with a movie that my best friend recommended. When out of nowhere my stream stuttered. Screams are heard from the crowd. Then the entire movie shut off. More and louder screams erupt. It gets worse, it didn't save the time I watched up to and I was 75% in. Two girls faint in the front row. I was forced like always, to play suicide chicken with the loading circle. I still don't know how, the passion of the Christ ends. Luckily for me Mr. Jolly St. Nick agreed to reenact the ending live for me tonight. It gets dark and the spotlight pans to Roman soldiers dragging Santa to a cross. You begin to hear nails being hammered. With each sound of metal being hit, it's followed by screams of pain. With each nail causing more horrific sounds until Santa was finally done hanging that Merry Christmas decoration. It gets dark and a vibration starts to be felt by the audience. It sounds like small rocks falling down a mountain. It gets louder and louder and the vibration more frequent until suddenly a loud break echoes throughout the auditorium. The spotlight comes on and shines on a huge broken rock in front of a tomb. Out walks Flavor Flav and two ladies in sexy bunny costumes. They hand him two eggs and inside each one is a battery. He puts them into his gigantic diamond-plated gold clock necklace, illuminating the words, Happy Holidays. 
The lights fade out as Flav heads over to a DJ table and starts to scratch a rap remix of the Braveheart theme. Bagpipes and hip-hop drums. The spotlight turns on. Andy is sitting on a table. His hands are tied up. He has wall paint on and a woman's skirt. A man in a blue suit and a lady in a red suit come out and stand in front of him. One at each of his sides. They both say in unison, this may hurt a little. Andy screams, as he is given two vaccine shots. They may take away our freedoms, but they'll never take our lives.